Hi, this is Warwick from MFI Flex, and in this demo, we're going to show you how we capture a lead and move that lead onto an opportunity, and then turning that opportunity into a client by providing a loan. We're here on the home page in the loan management system, and we're going to create a lead. So we click on the lead tab, and that opens the uh, lead window, and we can create a new lead by pressing the button here. In the new lead window, we have lead information which we complete. So for example, Mr. Andy Trader of Company Trader Inc. We can provide the title, the lead source and so on. All these fields can be tailored to exactly the fields that you require. There's address information. There's additional information, description, and at the bottom of the page we have the loan information. So we can put in the information, for example, and it's looking for a 12-month loan. It's a declining balance. The frequency is set at monthly, but we can choose from any of these, from weekly, bi-weekly, daily, etc. We can put in first due payment, but there is, it is not a required field. We can put in the type of loan that Andy is looking for, principal and interest or interest only, combination or some special promo, and complete all these details. Loan amount, select the loan product by clicking on the button, selecting the loan product, and so forth. Then we just go to the top of the page and press the save button. It now takes us to the lead page and we can see that Mr. Andy Trader has been created and the information that we've put into his file is now sitting here. The loan information, 12 months, monthly, interest rate, loan amount, etc. As negotiations continue with Andy, we get to the stage where we believe that we're going to convert Andy from a lead to an opportunity to do that, all we need to do is come down here in the loan information and press on the convert button. Now we come to the screen which gives us the opportunity to create the account name. One will be created automatically but you can override that if you wish. You can also create task information so if you wanted to make an alert for a task at a later stage then you can create it in this section here with a comment. So we just need to press the convert button and it takes us to the account page. So we've gone from creating a, a lead to converting to an opportunity. Once it's converted to an opportunity it creates an account and this is the account page. You can see that there's no information here other than saying that the status is current because there's been no loans created or other information. However, as we scroll down, we can see that there's contacts, opportunities. You can add notes and attachments by creating a new note or attaching a file. We can also create a loan from this section. However, as we've only just converted this lead to an opportunity and created this account, we'll be going back to the opportunity to make any changes. And you can see here in the opportunity window that the stage is just prospecting. So let's click on Trader Inc. and that'll take us to the opportunity page. Now in the opportunity page, it's broken into detail, loan information, open activities, history, notes and attachments, contact roles, any partners, and the stage that we're up to and any products. Now let's just scroll to the uh, top of the page. As we've been working with Andy, we'll be changing the stage that we're working on. So by just double clicking on this, we can look at the stage and it works through from qualification, needs analysis, and so forth. Let's say we're up to proposal and price quote, clicking here. Notice that the stage has changed to proposal price quote and probability 75% but it's in orange. The reason it's in orange is because this is cloud-based. 
we need to save this first before it gets saved onto the database. And I've clicked that and notice an error message has come up, invalid data. We make it simple for you by showing you where you've missed some information and I've forgotten to put a close date when this is likely to close. So let me just click on this, come back up here, click on save again and this time everything is saved, there's nothing in orange, everything is recorded. Now's the time that we go to the account. To do that all we need to do is on the underlined Trader Inc click on the button and it takes us to the account. We can see that the status is current but still nothing has occurred in the account. As we scroll down we can now click on the new loan and we have a choice of the loan application type. The loan can either be to a contact or to an account. If we click on contact for example and we search for Andy, Andy Trader, or if we wanted to go to the loan from an account, we can click on account and the account comes up as Trader Inc. So we have a choice of either the loan to the individual, Andy Trader, or loan to the account, Trader Inc. Let's in this example go back to to the loan to contact and we'll make it Andy Trader. The purpose of the loan, click on the magnifying glass. It's been set up just in this demo that there's one loan purpose that's personal but you can create as many different loan purposes as you wish. Clicking on personal. Then we come over to product name, clicking on the magnifying glass. We've got a number of products here. Let's click on LP1. Again, you can set up whatever products you require. Now that we've done that, it opens up the window for more information. The loan amount, let's make this 10,000. Interest rate, let's change it to 15%. Billing method, we've got the choice of declining balance or flexible repayment or flat. We're going to go for declining balance time counting method, month and days, or our other alternative is actual days. Month and days is 360 days per year, whereas actual days is the exact number, 365. We'll go for months and days. If we're having an interest only loan, we will fill in this section. A balloon payment, we can fill in this section. We'll leave those both blank. We now come down to the required field which is marked by the red bar and we'll make this a 12 month. Now coming over to the other required field, frequency of payment, it's set it weekly which is the default for this loan product one, but let's change this to monthly. We also have the choice of grace period and pre-bill days. Grace period and if we hover our mouse over here, a grace period, if a grace period is 10 days and a payment doesn't come by that due date, the following things will happen. Interest will still accrue, but overdue interest, that is penalty interest, will not accrue and the status will not be delinquent. So it gives a number of grace days prior to the loan becoming delinquent or in arrears. Pre-bill days, hover over here, number of days before the due date to get a bill generated. That means that an email can be sent out two days prior to the repayment date to remind Andy that there is a payment due. Let's just save this now. We can see now that the loan status is partial application. In order to move this forward, scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we can submit this loan for approval by clicking the button here, clicking OK, we come to the approver screen and we select which user is going to approve this loan. Let's call it Warwick Auburn and we send this on to the next approver if that is required. Otherwise an email is sent to Warwick, he will receive that email and then act upon it. We can see now that the status has moved to pending approval. 
if we scroll down to the bottom of the page and let's assume we've now switched and Warwick has received the email, comes into this loan, has checked it and wanted to approve the loan, simply come down, click on approve or reject, but let's click on approve. We can add any comments here. We can approve or reject. Let's click the approve button. We can now see in the status that the loan has been approved and it shows what the next payment amount is due and when that next payment amount is due. The amount to current and today's payoff. So we've moved this from a lead onto an opportunity, onto an account, creating a loan and moving through those steps and finally this last step that we've done is approving the loan. That'll finish this particular part of the demo. If you'd like to watch more, for example, we'll look at the next step, which is funding the loan and making repayments, then please have a look at the following demo videos. Thank you.